In this video, I'll show how to implement Naive Base from scratch in Python. And in the next video, we'll use this implementation in a more practical example to classify emails into spam or not spam. I won't do the, like, I won't focus on the derivation of Naive Base, but I do feel I want to briefly mention some of the theory behind Naive Base, which come from the famous uh, Base th theorem. And let's say we have some email, uh, which we'll call experience. And we want to figure out how probable is it that this email is spam and not spam, given this experience of previous emails. So what we can learn is what is the probability of seeing a specific email, so this evidence, given that it is spam or not spam. And this is the likelihood. And then we have the prior, which is basically what is the probability of an email being spam in general? And lastly, we'll have a marginal likelihood, which is a normalization constant. And we'll ignore this part because it won't impact the resulting classifier that we'll have. Let's start with some skeleton code of how our naive base is going to look like. So we're first going to import NumPy as MP. We're going to do class naive base. And we're going to have an init function. And here we're going to just send in our data, x and y. So x will be sort of the, um, the all the training examples and then all of the features in a matrix. And y will be the target class for each training example. And then we'll have a fit function, which sort of, uh, yeah, this is sort of the training phase of naive base. And then we'll have a predict. And then again, we'll send in, so we'll train it on some data, we'll predict on some data. This could be the same, or it could be if you've separated into a training and a test set. And then we'll have a density function. And we're gonna send in, so the data that we want, and then we're gonna send in computed mean and variance, which will sigma. And what we're going to do here is we're going to calculate probability from Gaussian density function. So normally distributed. So the, the likelihood is something we can model from different distribution, which also gives us different naive base. The one we'll model and one we'll implement is the Gaussian naive base. So we're assuming here that the probability of uh, seeing a specific email, given that it is spam or not spam, is normally distributed. So we, we're going to use a Gaussian density function. And from this, so from this assumption of being normally distributed, we can do maximum likelihood um, to find sort of the optimal mean and variance parameters uh, to fit our, our data of emails. And I just want to do a quick clarification as well uh, why it's called naive base, which is the assumption that if you know that the email is spam, and let's say you know the word buy is an email, that won't impact the probability of money being in the email, you know, which, which doesn't hold true in general, but is a simplifying assumption and still gives pretty good results in practice. So as I said, we're going to use the Gaussian density function and we're going to use a trick here. Uh, so we, we, we can take the density function just from uh, Wikipedia. And I'll show it on the screen. And then we'll perform a, a log operation which uh, makes the the numeric it makes it more numerically stable and since log is a monotone function it won't impact the the resulting probabilities the maximum will still be the maximum after taking the log we're going to do self.num features i'm just going to write this out this is just from the the density function of of a uh, of a multivariate gaussian I do want to mention here that the implementation isn't identical to the density function that you see on the screen. First, we have performed a log operation to make it more numerically stable, but we've also simplified a few of the calculations with the naive base assumption. So the, the Gaussian density function is normally a multiplicative. Uh, so you normally multiply the constant with the probs, uh, with the probabilities, uh, but, but since we're taking the log, that makes the product into a sum and that's why we'll, we'll, we're taking we're subtracting by, by props here so i'm using self.eps here let's uh, and we're also using self.num features let's just uh, create those in our init so self.num features 
and self dot num examples is uh, let's say it's actually self dot num examples first is x dot shape so x is uh, the rows are the number of examples and the columns are the number of features and then we're going to do self dot num classes we're going to do len length of np dot unique of y so let's say that y is you know, um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, something like that. NP unique just finds all of those unique values, which in this case is just one, two, three, four. And it just takes the length of those. But let's say we would have four, four, then it would still be just one, two, three, four, because uh, these two wouldn't be unique in this set. Then we're going to use self.eps just for numerical stability. Let's just say one, uh, uh, 10 times minus 6 then in the in the fifth function we're gonna do we want to figure out sort of the 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 mean uh, and the variance that we're gonna send into the density function and uh, we're also we also want to compute the the prior here so let's do self dot classes mean self dot classes var and self dot classes prior and then let's iterate through all of the classes that we have so we have four uh, class let's just do C in range of self dot num classes so what I'm saying here also is that the classes are starting from zero so we start first class is zero second is one two etc then we're just gonna take what are the, the examples that we have that is a from a specific class from our data set so we can do x and we can do y equal equals c so this will pick out the training examples um, the emails that is from a specific class in this case let's say all the emails that are non-spam and then all the emails that are spam and we're just going to compute self dot classes mean for this specific class so we'll do string of class in this dictionary and then we're going to do mp.mean xc and then x is zero so sort of why we're doing this comes from the theory uh, of doing maximum likelihood which will not derive but will rather just use those results and then also classes dot uh, the variance do variance same string of c is np dot variance of xc axis zero as well and then we're going to compute the classes prior and so this will just be what what are the amount of examples that is from this specific class so we'll just do xc dot shape of zero and then we'll divide it by the entire so the number of examples that we have in total so we can actually do uh, self dot num examples okay that's it for the the fit function then what we want to do is we want to do the predict and we're going to do probs it's just going to be mp dot zeros of self dot num examples this is the shape and then self dot num classes so we want to have sort of a probability for each example being each of the classes. So if we have an email, we want to know what is the probability of it being being spam, what is the probability of it being not spam, since we in this case we just have two classes. So we can, uh, I mean, if we would have email, you, this is a general implementation, you can send in any number of classes. Then we're going to do for C in range of self num classes. We're going to do the prior, which is going to be self.classes prior of that specific class. Then we're going to compute the props of that specific class, and we're going to do that with the density function. So we're going to send in x. We're going to send in self.classes mean, and then self.classes variance of C 
and then we're gonna add so this computed for this specific class we're gonna compute um, we're gonna store them rather in the props that we define here so props of all examples comma just that specific class we're gonna set it to prop C plus the log of the prior right and in the beginning I show that this probability is actually the the, pro the the likelihood times the prior but since we're doing log we convert it into a sum so this is the result for that and then at the absolute end we want to return np.argmax of probs comma one and here we're taking the axis one because we want to have for each training example we want to have what is the the class that it predicts uh, the highest and then I notice here that we've uh, we need to send in uh, y here and we also so I used variance but here I said var so let's do variance so that it's um, all the same and then let's just do this for some uh, I have some example data so let's just do if name equals main so let's start with loading our data and I have the, lo the data in a separate folder uh, example data you can download the exact same data if you want to uh, follow uh, what I'm doing from from my github which is in the description uh, but really we're just gonna np dot use np dot load text and we're just gonna specify example data and then we're gonna data dot txt we're gonna use the limiter is a comma and then we're gonna do y is np dot load txt uh, the same thing and then targets dot txt and then the delim uh, we're gonna, not going to have any delimiter in this case and then we're just going to subtract by one because uh, we want the classes to start from zero and then one two etc now it's starting from one and two three etc so we we just subtract one and let's actually try to uh, to to now yeah so let's do naive base and let's just send in x and y nb dot fit of x and then y prediction will be nb dot predict of x so this is sort of the training phase this is sort of the prediction phase and normally i guess you would have a training data and a test data uh, in this case we we just do on the same data so let's try and run this we're probably going to get some errors yeah as usual uh we need to have x and y here and then we need to have i guess just x there yeah all right so yeah okay so there's a mistake here this should not be brackets this should be just a normal parenthesis let's see like this and yeah so the same here same here here and then that should be it I think let's see if it runs now okay great let's let's first actually print just what is the data that we have what is the, the shape of it so we have 90 90, 90 training examples or point uh, in this say in this case we have two features so they're in the XY plane and and we just have targets of 90 examples right what each class has a single one so let's we can print y for example and so we see that there are three classes and then uh, after the prediction let's do sum of y prediction equals y and then let's do divide by x dot shape of zero so we're sort of getting an accuracy here just we can see that it's a 90 percent accuracy so the data has some noise i'll show how it looks like uh, on the screen but there's some noise so 90 percent seems reasonable and uh, yeah so that's an ex that's the naive base algorithm um, in the next video we're gonna use this implementation to classify emails into spam and not spam uh, and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching the video if you have any questions leave them below and i hope to see you in the next video